Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betchoy and I am your plantito from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. Those who are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification para maging updated kayo sa mga latest videos ng Bechoy Vlog. Also guys, please follow me on our other social media accounts. Aside from YouTube, we have a Facebook page and the page name is Bechoy Vlog. At meron din tayong Instagram account at ang ating ID is Bechoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. So if ever meron kayong mga questions about plant cares, some plants yung gusto nyo pa-ID, or any other questions regarding plants, you can send me a message sa ating mga social media accounts and itatry ko talaga na ma-answer yung inyong mga inquiries doon. At sa araw na ito guys, pag-uusapan natin ang isa sa mga in na in ngayon na mga halaman and these are our variegated plants. So in this video, I'll be sharing to you how I care for my variegated plants and we are talking about our philodendron, Jose Bono. And then later on also, I'll be sharing to you yung mga tips kung paano natin mapapa-improve yung ating variegations and also the sizes of the leaves of our plants. In this video as well, I will be showing to you and sharing to you how I propagate my philodendron, Jose Bono. And later on, after natin siyang ma-propagate, iriripat natin siya. And I'll be sharing to you as well the soil mix and the post care after we have successfully propagated our philodendron. So here is my philodendron Jose Bono guys. And you can see it here. Meron na tayong limang dahon. Actually, this is already a mother plant na Jose Bono. And nakapag-propagate na ako nito before. And as we all know, yung ating philodendron na Jose Bono, this is a variegated plant. This is one of the many variegated na mga plants. And itong... Variegations niya, actually, meron siyang iba-ibang mga patterns. Minsan, nagiging mottled siya or minsan naman, may mga patches lang. And if siswertehan ka naman, magkakaroon ka ng Jose Bono na may mga half moon or full moon na mga white variegations. Ano nga ba yung mga variegations, guys? So, this is actually a part of the plant na nagkakaroon siya ng kakaibang kulay different from the plant itself. So, Minsan, may mga color white, may mga color pink, may yellow or darker green na mga variegations and it can be seen in the leaves. Some ta uh, most of the time also, nasa mga petioles or sa mga stems din sila, yung mga variegations. But most of the time, nagiging evident or nagiging obvious sila sa mga dahon at doon talaga natin sila makikita. And to name a few of the more popular na ng mga plants na may variegations, we have the very famous na Pink Princess, meron ding yung Monstera Thai Constellation, ang medyo expensive na mga variegated na Bilite, some White Wizard, and many other plants na may mga variegations. There are so many factors affecting the variegations of the plant. Number one is yung lighting na kanyang nakukuha. It plays a very big factor guys kasi yung lighting, yan yung source of energy ng mga plants and yung chlorophyll ng ating mga plants, yan yung nag-absorb ng light at, nag at gumagawa ng pagkain for the plant. So yung mga part ng mga dahon ng ating mga plants na may kakaibang color, that part wala siya chlorophyll. So as long as nakakakuha ng magandang lighting yung ating plant, there is that big chance or big possibility na mareretain niya yung kanya mga variegation sa kanya mga dahon. And aside from the lighting, yung ibang factors na nakaka-affect din sa pagkakaroon ng variegation sa ating plants, meron yung ating soil mix na ating ginagamit, yung nutrients na kanyang nakukuha, and also the environment plays a vital role din sa ating development ng variegations ng mga plants. At ang pinakamalaking factor talaga na makaka-affect sa pagkakaroon ng variegations ng ating mga plants ay ang kanyang mother plant. So, it's just the same sa mga tao. 
if yung parents natin ay medyo fair skin, then we can also expect na yung mga bata nila magiging fair skin. Kung medyo moreno naman or morena yung kanya mga parents, then we also expect na magiging ganon din yung kanilang mga bata. So just the same with our plants. So all these factors that I have mentioned, guys, they should come together para ma-achieve natin yung inaasam-asam natin na magandang variegations for our plants. Now that we have talked about the mga general information about variegated the mga plants, Punta na tayo dito sa ating Philodendron na Jose Bono. And this plant is actually part of my favorite plants for the year 2020. And if I'm not mistaken, I think nasa top 5 ata ito dati sa aking mga favorite plants. And I've also mentioned in our previous vlog na baka umangat yung ranking ng ating Jose Bono. Kasi that time when I made the video, di pa siya masyadong variegated as in kukunti pa lang talaga yung mga variegations ng ating plant from the original plant and I can still remember that I bought this plant at the price of 3,000 pesos and during that time, tatlong leads pa lang siya and very subtle pa talaga yung kanya mga variegations and let's try to show it here in the camera ito guys, yung kanyang mga original leaves this one and ito din, itong may mga damage ito, kinahan ito ng uod this one. So, itong tatlong dahon na malalaki na and may mga very obvious the variegations, this is actually the saha na or the baby plant na kasi nakapag-propagate na ako dito guys. So, that is why I'm saying na these tips that I will be sharing with you is based on an actual experience on me taking care of this Philodendron Jose Bono. So let's have a closer look of our mother plant guys, of our Philodendron Jose Bono. Ito yung pinagkatan ko na first time. So mother plant na ito and then yung kanyang panibagong tubo is this one. Ito na yung may tatlong napaka-obvious na, na mga variegations. One of the reasons also why I have decided to cut this one na uh, is meron na siyang baby dito or saha sa may lalim. And in order for us to, para ma-push ng ating plant yung kanyang saha, we need to cut itong isang baby kasi bihira lang talaga mag-push ng dalawang panibagong plants ang ating mother plants. Most of the time, iisa lang talaga yung ipupush niya at i-develop. And yung isang saha or yung baby, magiging dormant lang siya for a time. But I suspect na kapag na-cut na natin itong ating baby plant na, na malaki na, um, I think ipupush na niya ito yung isang saha niya. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo guys yung aerial roots ng ating baby plant. So, isang tip na may share ko sa inyo is before propagating your plants and also if possible, itusok nyo na yung mga roots sa soil mix natin or sa lupa na ginagamit natin. Or if medyo mahirap pa ng ganun, you can also use yung sphagnum moss, i ano na natin siya, i-air layering para mapa-activate na natin aerial roots ng ating baby plant. Perhaps we can do a separate video or different video regarding air layering kasi for this plant, kasi yung ating Philodendron Jose Bono, na natusok ko na itong kanyang mga aerial roots dito sa ating soil mix. So, we'll just do a different video regarding the aerial layering. And for our propagation video for this day, yung mga materials na gagamitin natin ay ang knife. This is a sterilized na knife using alcohol lang and clean cloth. Our pot na paglilipatan ng ating baby plant and the soil mix that we'll be using. And for our soil mix, what we are trying to achieve here is yung dapat siya ay well draining. It should be aerated and chunky. And of course, meron din siyang nutrients para naman makasupport sa growth ng ating plant. So yung composition ng ating soil mix, guys, this is, majority of it is composed of 50% na na coco cubes. So itong coco cubes natin, ito yung magpo-provide ng aeration and magko-hold din ng moisture for our plant. Pero kung walang available na coco cubes in your area, you can, see, you can use some other alternatives. So aside from the coco cubes, pwede din gumamit na ng mga tree barks na dried na. The next component of our soil mix is our coco peat. And this is 20% by volume, guys. So yung ating coco peat naman, this will also hold moisture for our soil mix. We also have another 10% of pumice. Again, by volume siya, guys. So ating pumice, ito yung magpo-provide and magso-support ng water drainage. 
we have another 10% of rice hull at itong rice hull natin mag-absorb din ito ng uh, um, excess moisture from the soil mix. By the way, kung hindi available yung ating pumice, pwede tayong gumamit na ng alternatives such as small stones or pebbles. And the last 10% natin guys is composed of our vermicast and this will provide the nutrients needed by our plant. Again, itong soil mix na shinare ko sa inyo guys, it's not necessarily na ito talaga yung susundin natin kasi in your alam ko in your area may mga materials na hindi available. So, you can adjust with whatever raw materials that you have in your area. As long as ma-achieve lang natin yung karakteristik na needed natin for our soil mix and that is dapat maka-hold siya ng moisture, um, it should be well-draining, aerated, and chunky, and also dapat meron din siyang mga nutrients. So ito na guys, ang ating medium. So actually this is soilless. So ito makikita natin, majority is composed of these cocoa cubes. Makikita din natin itong mga cocoa peat, yung rice hull, and some pumice, and hindi na masyadong obvious pero nagdagdag tayo dito ng vermicast and nagmix na rin siya with our soil mix. So ito guys, yung closer look ng ating philodendron na na Jose Bono kung saan tayo magkakat. So this part here, meron tayong node and then ito din, may mga different nodes din dito and mga aerial roots. So what I'm planning to do is ikakat ko siya dito instead of here. I was thinking at first na dito ko siya ikakat pero nagkaroon kasi ako ng experience dati na uh, with, with my lime feeder, kinat ko siya sa part na ito from the mother talaga na plant. And then what happened was that sobrang tagal niyang pinush yung kanyang baby na na plant. So nakapag-decide ako ngayon na ikakat ko siya somewhere dito na lang. Anyways, may napakaraming aerial roots na rin naman dito and also activated na rin ito. So... Uh, mas magiging mabilis yung pag-develop ng ating mother plant with its new saha. So using our knife na na-sterilized with alcohol, ikakat natin siya dito guys, dito na part. So witness this one. Again, in cutting your plants, dapat supportahan nyo yung plant natin para hindi siya mabali. Yun. So this is our baby plant na, and I'll to guys. So ito na yung kanyang mga roots na slowly nag-activate na kumapit pa siya sa eggshell. I'll just leave it as is na lang. So one way for us to know kung activated na yung roots ng ating plants is kung makakakita na tayo ng mga nag-start na siyang may mga puti-puti compare lang natin dito ito siya medyo reddish or orangey yung kanyang color so kapag nag start na siya mag-activate meron ka na makikita ang mga white so para sa ating pinagkatan na, na mother plant dito you can use cinnamon or detain tapos lagyan lang siya dito but in my case hindi ko lang siya lalagyan I'll just leave it as is na lang i ano ko lang siya uh, hindi ko lang siya i-water and then siya secure ko lang siya in an area na hindi din mababasa ng ulan para mas maging mabilis yung paghilom ng kanyang sugat. And now let's start na repotting our baby plant at yung saha. So lagyan lang natin ng soil mix or medium yung ating pot. And then let's try to fit it here. Yan. Giging ganyan na yung ating Jose Bono. Also guys, I forgot to mention earlier na one of the reason, yung pinakamalaking reason talaga kung bakit ko na-decide na ikat yung ating mother plant, yung original na Jose Bono, was that um, I was very, ano talaga, not contented with the variegations of its original plant or yung ating mother plant. So just try to look at these two leaves here. Ang konti lang talaga ng mga variegations. So... I decided to cut it para mapa matest and then see kung mapapa improve talaga natin yung variegations ng ating Jose Bono. And true enough, ito na yung nangyari. So very ano talaga napakalaki ng difference from the mother plant with this baby plant. And itong yung kanyang pinakabagong dahon. And in terms of aside from the variegations guys, in terms of the size of the leaves 
sobrang laki ng difference din. As in, siguro mga one-third din yung difference from the mother plant. So itong ating panibagong dahon, sobrang laki na niya as compared with the mother plant. So, be placing the plant here and then lalagyan na lang natin siya ng additional soil. And then just make sure na makakover natin yung mga roots ng ating plant. Nothing special naman doing this one. So aside from cutting your Jose Bono, isang napakagandang advice din na may bibigay ko sa inyo guys is to place your Philodendron Jose Bono in an area na may uh, bright siya but then filtered light. So when I say filtered, um, I don't know if you can see it here, pero yung garden ko dito, meron akong double net na, na nakaka-cover, ah, ano ba yun? Hindi ba siya nakaka-cover, naka-place naka dito sa itaas. So, itong aking Jose Bono, nakakuha siya ng filtered light all throughout the day. So, I, I think I've read in one of the comments sa uh, comment section ng aking ng ating previous vlog na para daw mapa-improve yung ating Jose Bono is to place it in an area na may filtered light. So, actually, even before I read that one, nagawa ko na siya. And true enough, isa talaga yun sa, I think, isa yun sa nakapag-improve ng ating Jose Bono. For Jose Bono na plant, nakapag-decide ako na lalagyan ko siya ng stick para man ma-support natin yung plant. So, in case na magkaroon ng hangin or medyo magiging mahangin, magiging stable pa rin yung ating plant. So, meron tayong stick dito and gagamitan ko lang siya ng cable tie. So, yun. And we're done with our propagation video. So, okay na ating pag-propagate ng ating Philodendron Jose Bono. So, for now, hindi ko lang muna siya i-water by tomorrow na. And then, when I water it by tomorrow, dito lang sa sides lang ng ating pot. Hindi lang dito sa center. Kasi baka mabasa yung ating pinagkatan or yung freshly cut na na portion maka magiging delikado yun makapagkos pa ng grating dun sa area so minimal lang muna ng watering dito lang sa gilid ng ating pot anyways maa-absorb lang din naman ng mga roots ng ating plants yung moisture na nasa soil mix and just like any other newly repotted ng mga plants and newly propagated I'll be placing this in an area na medyo bright lang muna walang direct sunlight walang direct light kahit na filtered light wala muna so dun muna natin ito ilalagay for few weeks so that's it guys that would be our episode for the day regarding our variegated plants specifically our philodendron jose bono and i hope na nakapagbigay ako sa inyo ng insights and some helpful tips and tricks kung paano natin mapa-improve yung mga variegations ng ating mga plants and before we end this video let us do our regular shout outs Shout out kay Mati Sumampong, hi then kay Angel Fernandez, shout out also kay Mirna Sharif, hi then kay Bernie Samson, shout out then kay Ma'am Florita Datuin, shout out also kay Ana Laurio, hi then kay Aya Valerio, shout out also kay Lani Luvete, hi then kay Ma'am Nenita Tinao. Shout out also kay Jasper Eliana. Another shout out kay Merlin Narumi. Hi then kay Sir Christian Payusan. Shout out also kay Ray Domingo. Shout out also kay Jeffrey Fail Lugoban. And hi then kay Doctora Ann Wakinia. Again guys, please follow me also on our other social media accounts. Sa Facebook, that's Betchoy Vlog. And sa Instagram naman, that's Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And pakiclick na rin po ng bell notification para maging updated kayo sa mga latest videos ng Betchoy Vlog. Once again, this is Betchoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!